Hey, what's up guys? Uh, I want to give you two things for the appendix draw real quick here. One is the, uh, is the most important micro drill that you can possibly do. And all that is, is the clear and the purchase on the pistol, okay? Clearing the garment, getting the solid purchase on the pistol, making that little claw as you go down, and finding that gap between your belt and your grip, and being able to bang, hit that gap every time whether you go kind of straight down and, and clasp around whether you go in from the front right like this pow or whether you go in from the side doesn't really matter find that gap get that claw get that perfect position where your finger is up on the slide bang every time and you just you can just do that at will okay that's all you got to do we start to incorporate the timer a little bit and I want you to fire, all right? Fire your hands off, and you just stop right here, okay? And then you say, what do I got? Do I got the perfect grip? Am I perfectly set up? Because this part of the draw, the, the clearance of the garment and the purchase is everything when it comes to appendix. This part, <laughs> that's not where we get speed from. To tell you the truth, we actually put the brakes on as we're grinding our grip on and presenting and building that, that top triangle index, that, that structure, right? All this is almost like you're taking a breath while you're pressing it out. Just my, my finger is prep. And if I'm doing a fast shot, I'm just bang, right? I'm whacking the trigger like a caveman. Doesn't much matter. Depends on what shot we need to take off the draw, but all this can be chilled out if this part is freaking fast, okay? And more than fast, okay, the, more, the most important part of concealment work is consistency, right? If we're a little off on consistency for USPSA work, my USPSA draw, what? <laughs> I'm a couple points down, I'm a, I'm a second slower, or what, you know, whatever it is, it's, it's not the end of the world. If we're not consistent with our concealment work, that, that potentially could be a bad thing, okay? So we need to think about consistency, consistency, consistency. We gain consistency through good technique, and then we start to really pile on and start to fire away and go at the speed a little bit. And the great thing about this micro drill of clearing and purchasing, uh, it'll, it'll big time, big time give you more consistency, okay? We need to start from different start positions, something in your hand, hands crossed, uh, hands in your pockets, hands out here, whatever it might be, hands in a, in a, in a fighting position, go and just, just take an inventory. What do I got? Where am I at? Am I perfect? All right, let's do it again, okay? And then uh, we start to throw in a little bit of speed with it with the timer. Then we're working reaction time. We're really firing the hands off. We're trying to get a little bit more deliberate in our movement. And that's what I want to talk about next. Okay. Then we, once we start to do this, we get that consistency. Then we start to build that speed. Then we get the speed and the consistency. And that leads to the big time confidence. Okay. I don't really want to say this out loud, but I'll tell you this right now. I don't practice my appendix draw really anymore. I am so freaking confident in my appendix draw at this point that I really don't practice the draw anymore. But what I do is this micro drill a lot, okay? Every time I leave the house, different clothing, whatever the clothing set I got on, bang, 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 right? I'm working that. I'm working my timing, so the timing of the garment clearance, whatever I might be wearing. I don't need to work this part of it anymore. I've done that 78,000 times. I've got my top triangle. I've got my index. I, I can build my grip. I know exactly what I need to do. I'll force the gun into position. I'll make the son of a bitch do what I want it to do once it's in front of my face. I work that all the time. I work that with USPSA gear, anything, right? That's really all I do anymore for my appendix work. Every now and then, if I got a class coming up or something, I'll do some dry fire and kind of tune up, get get that last little bit or whatever. But uh, 
that confidence, that, that, that real deal confidence, that you have the speed and the consistency, that your technique is dialed. There's nothing better than that. Like that, that confidence of that is, is huge. And that's gonna play a factor in a potential situation that might come down the road, just like the confidence in these, all right? So <laughs> get, get to the gym, start getting punched in the face. Um, but let's talk about the second thing here. The second thing is going to be deliberate movement, all right? I want you guys to think about a couple of things here as far as deliberate movement goes. And start getting a little bit more aggressive with how you're moving to the gun and how you're handling it. You don't get that fast without a little bit of intensity and a little bit of aggression and going after it. You don't get good reaction time by just simply kind of trying to do it. Like, you got to get fired up and get going. Fling your hands at that thing. Create that little bit of a claw and fire that hand in there with some freaking aggression, all right? And then next thing you know, you start getting nasty with it and you've actually got something. You're, you're plucking that, hole, that, that pistol up out of the holster like a feather. You are pow, you are getting to it, okay? So deliberate movement. I want you guys to think about you know, you don't have to do it fast at first, just, just kind of nice and deliberate, okay? Bang, all right? I want you to clear that garment, boom! Get to the pistol and come out. Clear that garment, bang, right? Let me kind of put it together. Just just think about that. Like, like be a little bit ridiculous about it at first. Smack into that gun and holster and start understanding if I, if I can throw that claw into that gap between belt and holster at, at, at Mach 3, okay, I'm, I'm getting somewhere. If I can chuck that garment up and it's like a one-two, okay, my, my hand hits my garment, my hand hits my pistol, all right, ba -ba! Okay, that is the, the key to this shit. Deliberately move. All right, and you don't have to do it fast, like I said at first, but then you, you slowly start to ramp it up. All right, I'm deliberately moving. Whack that thing. And just think about it, the, the, the presentation is a deceleration anyway. We want to decelerate on the, on the presentation anyway. So, whack. It's, it's big. So, take her easy, try that out. Let me know what you think.